Let's talk about sculpting inside of Marvelous Designer. Uh, the mode itself is located at the top right of the program, of the UI. And um, I will not spend too much time in here, probably even a uh, small amount than in animation, because um, everything about this uh, this feature shows me that it's uh, it's mostly an experiment, even in version 9. And uh, sculpting was introduced in uh, Marvelous Designer 8. But uh, to showcase what it does, um, we need to select this uh, this mode here, Sculpt. The UI changes, the color of the garments changes as well, which is a good thing because now we can see all the forms and no, uh, no textures and no colors are in our way. And uh, that's kind of it, that's, uh, that's the UI. At the top we have the brushes, and we have the standard brush, we have the, it's called Sculpt, then we have the Smooth, then we have uh, Move or Grab, then we have Stump, and then there's the Pinch. So they are, um, they are very basic. If, uh, if you haven't used any program that has a sculpting feature, or if dedicated completely to sculpting, you're probably not that familiar with uh, with what they do, but if you did use ZBrush at some point in your in your career on your in your life, you you should understand what those things are. Uh, but we'll go through them one by one. One thing that struck immediately is that there are no hotkeys for that. If in animation mode uh, there are some hotkeys, there are some shortcuts that we can change in the user settings. In sculpt mode, we don't have anything. The only, uh, the only shortcut that we have is um, let's say B, which brings up this um, this little window where we can we can switch the brushes and uh, change some settings. Basically, it's those two things combined: this uh, this top panel and this side one, and they all combined into one uh, one window. Uh, another hotkey is the Shift, which is again if uh, if you had any previous experience with sculpting, a shift in most of the programs, probably all of the programs, is set to smooth, which will smooth out the surface. And then there is Alt, and Alt inverts the effect of the brush. It's the same as uh, ticking off or on this feature right here, invert. So those are the only things that we can use on the on the keyboard. So to make this video uh, short and sweet, we'll go quickly through some settings and then we'll see how it all works. So strength is um, is the is the force of the brush, is the force of the sculpting itself. It's barely noticeable here, if we increase this, the effect is bigger. Then we have the size, this is the size of the brush. Again, there is no way to change this on the fly, so every time we either need to go here or press B and um, change it here. Then we have the focal uh, size, which is um, which makes the fall off either bigger or smaller. The next one is spacing, and this will tell the program how much space between the strokes there should be. And uh, a stroke is uh, is the is the surface inside of the circle that we see on the on the avatar on the garments. So if we increase the spacing, there will be there will be more empty space between between those uh, circles. Then we have the depth, and this will increase the uh, well the depth. Let's say the the fall off of the of the of the strength. And uh, the last feature in here that we have is display, and uh, it's this display double uh, double sided it's uh, basically the inside of the of the fabric so if we take it on and off we can see the inside or, or we can hide it now to talk about uh, some principles of uh, sculpting itself the way it works in every single program that is out there it, uh, it it all depends on the amount of polygons that we have sculpting is nothing other than uh, moving vertices on the surface, and that's it. There's nothing, uh, nothing magical. There is no extra process taking place. That's uh, that's all that there is. It's just moving of the vertices. 
what that means is that uh, if the surface doesn't have enough enough uh, polygons, doesn't have enough surfaces, we won't be able to see the details that we want to put. And uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to I'm going to use the stamp brush. And uh, in here we have uh, we have another option which is called image. The stamp is uh, is just a well, it's just a stamp. It just takes a, takes a, an, an alpha black and white image and it will stamp this on the surface. Everything that is white will try to get uh, out and everything that is black will uh, pull the surface in. And uh, we have some some options in here, some default uh, wrinkles that the Marvelous Designer comes with. And then we have um, William Default and Marvelous doesn't come with William. This is something that I've just loaded to demonstrate this feature. So if we select a stamp and we try to to put it on the surface and uh, please bear with me because sculpting using the stamp is uh, is quite a nightmare. It just uh, it, it takes a while to wrap uh, to wrap my head around this uh, this process because it's almost uh, it's almost the opposite from uh, from every other program that is out there. So if we Put a stamp like that. We can see that it's just a mess. It's uh, it's William, but uh, he's um, he's not looking well. He's um, he's a bit he's a bit sick. Um, so to fix that, we can go back to simulation, and as we can see, the uh, the effect takes place. Everything that we've uh, sculpted. If we run simulation at this point, everything that we have here will disappear. So just to demonstrate. If we click spacebar, this thing, uh, well, not thing, William, he disappears. He goes back to his um, to a better place somewhere inside of the program, and uh, that's uh, that's one of those things about the sculpting. If we are to use this feature, it should be used at the very end of the process because otherwise, every time we simulate, the whole the whole thing will just disappear. But to get back to the principle of sculpting. If we want to have more detail on the surface, what we need to do is we need to uh, decrease the particle distance or in another way to put it, we need to increase the amount of vertices that there are on the, on the garments. Once we do that, we can either simulate to remove all of those um, blocky uh, wrinkles, this, this blocky effect, or we can go straight to, uh, to the sculpt mode. And in here, if we try to do the same effect uh, again, and uh, the the UI, the way the way it behaves is substantially substantially slower now because we have a lot more vertices on the geometry. So if we try to do this again, and put William on the back of this uh, of this character, We can see that uh, well, his uh, his his William Defoe. That's uh, that's true, but uh, that's just to illustrate how the how the sculpting works. Not just inside of Marvelous Designer, but in general, this is the principle. So if we are to use this feature, we need to make sure that we have enough geometry to to use those uh, uh, those uh, those brushes, the stamp, the pinch, or the standard sculpting brush. At this point, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it does look like this feature was simply put in here as something to try out. Nothing in here, nothing about the UI, nothing about the, the fact that there are no hotkeys and there's no way to modify it, uh, tells me that this is something that uh, should be taking... I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say in a serious way, but this is definitely a the most basic a sculpting tool that you can probably find on the market at this moment. So if for some reason you do want to have uh, some sculpting done on your characters, perhaps you want to to smooth out some of the things by pressing the shift key or going into the uh, up here and changing the brush to smooth. So if you are not uh, if you're not using any other applications outside of Marvelous Designer and perhaps you are here just for for look dev purposes, you want your character 
to go straight from Marvelous to another application or straight to the uh, to Photoshop or some other some other tool. Perhaps those uh, those things are quite nice. They they can definitely smooth out at least uh, at least in some cases they can be they can be helpful for example in here the smooth brush actually works uh, pretty well but uh, in terms of doing some kind of proper sculpting this is uh, this is something to uh, to be cautious of this is not a sculpting program just like it's not an animation program this is just something to help out in those uh, rare cases where we do need some external uh, tools and we don't have access to them outside of marvelous designer Not to take anything back from what I've just said about the sculpting in Marvelous, this tool can be actually quite a bit of fun if uh, if the desired look is something that is uh, that is uh, zombie-like, I, I suppose. Uh, so what I what I've just did here is I used um, William, but I inverted him, or I used the Alt key, and I simply placed the stamp on the on the surface of the of the garments and this is this creates uh, quite an interesting look it definitely uh, definitely a fun tool to see all of those things happen in uh, in real time the only issue with this tool is that it goes uh, through the surface so if we place it on the in the front of the leg we can see that it also does this effect applies this effect uh, to the back of the surface so it's a uh, it's definitely not something that is um that is a professional sculpting tool or technique but it's just something fun to play around with and especially if we are working on uh, clothing that is just uh, completely destroyed ripped and we want to create a screenshot of this immediately without leaving the the program this could be a fun fun little experiment